So guess what's shaking up the tech world? Microsoft has just disclosed Orca 2, an AI revolution like no other. Imagine a world where AI is capable of reasoning like a pro. That's what Orca 2 brings to the table. But hold on, before we dive in, have you smashed that like and subscribe button yet? Take advantage of this incredible AI journey. All right, let's explore Orca 2. This model symbolizes Microsoft's latest investigation into more compact models for natural language processing, containing roughly 13 billion parameters or less. You might wonder why there's such interest in less sizable models where more extensive ones like Llama 2, Palm and GPT-4 have hundreds of billions of parameters. The appeal of these more smallish models is in their simplicity. They're more straightforward to train, configure and run. Plus, they consume reduced computational resources and power, making them practical and budget-friendly for various organizations, regardless of size or industry. However, working with these models does come with its own challenges. One primary challenge is ensuring they excel at complex tasks. This is where Orca 2 steps in. It's not just a downsized iteration of GPT-4. It's a more intelligent and efficient model. Orca 2, with either 7 billion or 13 billion parameters, is created through fine-tuning models based on Llama 2, using top-notch synthetic data. It emulates the reasoning capabilities of more substantial models, such as GPT-4, to overpower the limits of smaller ones. Orca 2's instructor aides from ChatGPT guide it to acquire diverse methods of logical thinking, which include step-by-step -step processing, recall then generate, extract and generate, and direct answer methods. Additionally, it learns to adapt and select different solution strategies for other tasks. But the most exciting aspect of Orca 2 is how well it performs in intricate tasks, especially those that assess developed logic capabilities in zero-shot settings. These are assignments that the model must perform without previous training or samples, a challenging test of its abstraction and adaption skills. Moreover, what sets Orca 2 apart is its advanced natural language processing NLP, capabilities. It's not just about understanding and generating text. Orca 2 has a nuanced grasp of context, subtext, and the intricate nuances of language. This breakthrough in NLP means it can engage in more meaningful conversations, understand and generate complex narratives, and even detect and interpret subtle emotions and sarcasm in text. Its ability to discern the intent and tone behind words opens up new possibilities in areas like customer service, where AI can now provide more empathetic and context-aware responses. The implications are profound, particularly in sectors reliant on nuanced communication, such as mental health support, legal advice, and personalized education. Let's look closer at Orca 2's performance, starting with the GSM 8K dataset. This dataset comprises over 8.5 thousand challenging elementary level mathematical word problems of excellent quality, each requiring two to eight steps to solve, mainly involving basic arithmetic operations. Orca 2 demonstrates exceptional proficiency on this benchmark, outperforming models with comparable dimensions, including the original Orca model. Its performance is on par with or even exceeds larger models, five to ten times its size. Notably, Orca 2 wasn't exposed to any math problems during its training. It handles them using its logical abilities and comprehension. Orca 2 also achieves exceptional results on the Big Bench Hard, a benchmark comprising the most challenging tasks requiring sophisticated logical thinking, like cognitive assessments, verbal challenges, and deductive riddles. It outperforms models with comparable dimensions and matches ChatGPT's effectiveness in this benchmark. Furthermore, Orca 2 shows promising results in proficient exams like the GMAT, GRE, SAT, and LSAT without accessing outer learning sources. These results highlight Orca 2's power and adaptability in handling different tasks and fields. Microsoft made Orca 2 open source, letting the broader community enter, utilize, and enhance it. This move fosters additional research and collaboration in developing, assessing, and aligning more compact and larger language models. 
How does Orca 2 differ from the initial Orca model released earlier this year? Both boast 13 billion parameters, but Orca 2 utilizes a different base model, Llama 2, instead of GPT-4. The new model enhances its logic skills via high-quality manufactured data and employs various methods to tackle tasks. Orca 2 performs better than its predecessor, particularly in the GSM 8K dataset, measuring complicated logical deduction through mathematical methods. Additionally, Orca 2 matches ChatGPT in the Big Bench Hard benchmark, evaluating sophisticated thinking within novel situations. Regarding communication, Orca 2 exceeds the original, producing more realistic and harmonious descriptions, talks, and texts. It integrates different phasing elements, implementing human feelings and everyday terms. It can adjust its speaking style and tone to suit different situations and audiences, whether formal, informal, friendly, or sarcastic. The new model is also more trustworthy and powerful, capable of running various intakes and outcomes and dealing with errors and uncertainties. It's designed to recognize and mitigate prejudices and moral considerations in its data and results, ensuring transparent and responsible actions and decisions. Orca 2 is also more adaptable and versatile, seamlessly transitioning between various tasks and fields. It can leverage its strengths with other models and systems. It can tailor its outputs and interactions based on user preferences and specific contexts. However, it's essential to acknowledge that Orca 2 has its shortcomings. It inherits issues from earlier versions, Llama 2 and GPT-4, encompassing data biases, situational difficulties, and moral considerations. There's a risk that Orca 2 might generate discriminatory responses, spread misinformation, or violate social values and ethics, particularly in foreign domains. Given the potential influence of models like Orca 2 on society and people's lives, it must align with human matters and avoid causing harm. One approach to improving Orca 2's safety is implementing RLHF, which means learning through human feedback. This method involves teaching the model using human input and feedback to encourage beneficial and safe behavior while discouraging detrimental or unsuitable content. Unfortunately, Orca 2 currently does not employ RLHF or similar safety measures, which is a deficiency that should be addressed to improve its synchronization with human ethics and overall reliability. Exploring further into the technical mastery of Orca 2, it's evident that its architecture is about optimizing efficiency in learning. This optimization is crucial when quickly adapting to new information like dynamic market analysis or real-time language translation. Orca 2's ability to swiftly assimilate and process new data makes it a powerful tool for businesses needing to stay ahead of rapidly changing trends. In addition, Orca 2's enhanced linguistic abilities might revolutionize how we interact with technology. With advanced human language comprehension, Orca 2 can power next-generation virtual assistants. These assistants could provide more accurate and context-aware responses, making them more powerful and intuitive for users in various settings, from personal scheduling to complex business analytics. The model's proficiency in complex reasoning processes involving multiple steps also opens doors for advanced problem-solving applications. For instance, in logistics and supply chain management, Orca 2 could optimize routes and inventory levels by analyzing complex variables and predicting future trends. This could lead to significant cost savings as well as enhancements in their efficiency. Furthermore, Orca 2's ability to generate code and understand programming languages makes it an invaluable asset in the software development industry. It could assist in automating routine coding tasks, allowing developers to focus on additional complicated and creative aspects of software design. This enhances productivity and reduces the incidence of bugs and errors in code. In creative domains, Orca 2's ability to generate coherent and contextually relevant text can be a boon for content creators. From developing initial drafts to suggesting edits and improvements, it can significantly reduce the time and effort involved in the content creation. This could be particularly useful in screenwriting, blogging, or even academic research, where initial drafts and idea generation are crucial steps. Lastly, the potential for Orca 2 in educational settings must be considered. 
Its ability to break complex topics into understandable segments could transform it into an interactive learning tool. Tailoring explanations to individual learning styles, Orca 2 could cater to diverse educational needs, making personalized learning more accessible and practical. Suppose you're interested in using this new AI model. In that case, you can run it on your computer using simple coding. For illustration, I will use the Rust plus Wasm stack to develop and deploy applications for this model. There are no complex Python packages or C++ tool chains to install. Step one, install Wasm Edge via the following command line. Step two, download the model gguf file. It may take a long time since the model size is several gigs. Step three, download a cross-platform portable Wasm file for the chat app. The application allows you to chat with the model on the command line. And that's it. You can now chat with the model in the terminal by entering the following command. All right, so Orca 2 is not just any AI. It's a giant leap forward, rocking some severe cognitive and linguistic abilities. Now, I'm curious, how do you see Orca 2 spicing up your daily grind or upcoming projects? Drop an Orca in the comments to let us know that you have watched the whole video and thanks for sticking with me. Can't wait to read your innovative ideas on Orca 2's influence. Catch you in the following video.